Hello, everyone. Welcome to my session. I'm here to give you some update of inner source in China. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Tan Zhongyi. My English name is Jerry, so you can call me Jerry Tan. I have a 20 years experience with open source community. I'm a committer of Mozilla Global and Apache Foundation. I was a former open source leader of Baidu company. I'm the advocate of inner source in China. I'm also the organizer of inner source China working group. Here is my agenda. First, I will give some uh, introduction of inner source working group in China. And then I will talk about several companies inner source journey in China. And also, I'll talk about OSC China promotes inner source and uh, end summer up. Okay, let's begin. Uh, here is one inner source China working group. Their members are all from China working uh, companies who, who are planning or already in a journey of inner source. The organizer is me, Jerry. There are over 20 members here. They are all from big companies in China, including Huawei, Tencent, Baidu, Inspur, Sulin, DD, WeBank, Haikang, and Genshin Xue. We have regular online and offline meetups. And we work together to translate some resources or material, learning materials from inner source commerce. Here is the one, the learning path. We work together to translate into Chinese. Here is the introduction. We have Chinese version and the section for trust committer. We have Chinese version and the contributor and the product owner. They are all have Chinese version. It's all by this working group. And also we have some offline meetups. Here is one meetup uh, in Tencent office. They are from DD, they are from Baidu, Tencent and Huawei companies. Here's one meetup um, in how we like office, we promoted it and talked about uh, inner source in that company. And here is one mishap inside Tencent again. We have several inner source project managers working together to talk about the inner source journeys. Okay, I will talk about some companies, their inner source journeys. Here is one, Tencent, they began to inner source journey from 2012. And Huawei from 2014, and Baidu from 2016, and DD from 2019 to current. I'll talk about them in more details later. Here's the first one, company, Tencent. Tencent is one of the biggest internet company, not only in China, but also in the world. It's the largest social media and social network in China. It has more than 20,000 engineers. In, in the year 2012, it began to adopt inner source bottom up. The original is very simple. They want to promote engineering culture inside the company because for an engineer, if you want to improve, you are great. Just show me the, just show me the code. So you need to open source your code inside the company. Here the year 2018, uh, almost the 34 projects got inner sourced. Then, after it, they began to drive inner source top down because they want to eliminate duplicated wheels inside the company. 
year 2020, 18 per projects, percent projects get intersourced. They put very strong resources into it. There will be more uh, sessions in this summit to talk about uh, Tencent's inner source journey. Stay tuned. Huawei, Huawei is, is um, perhaps the most big famous uh, internet company, inter, in IT company in China. They have moved from their inner source in 1.0 to 2.0. It has uh, over 18,000 engineers. From, two, from year 2014, they began in the source top down. They want to make it back easier for projects intertwined with each other because there are many projects uh, in the company intertwined with each other. If the code is open, is open in the company, it will be much uh, make debug much easier. Then after it, from this year, 2020, they moved to their inner source 2.0. This time, they began to combine top-down with bottom-up. They began to build internal engineer communities, and they began to adopt inner source maturity mode. This inner source maturity mode is from KS projects. Okay, I'll talk about the Baidu inner source journey. I'm the leader of uh, Baidu inner source journey project before, so I, I will talk it in more, more details. Baidu is the largest search comp engine in China. You can think it is a Chinese Google. It has more than 10,000 engineers. From 2016, Baidu adopted inner source to improve their internal platform's abilities. In the year 2006, we chose the first pilot project to go to inner source. Then we moved to the whole department. Then we moved to the company wide. The first project is called ODP. It's a PHP framework used wide inside Baidu. It began to got adopt inner source. The reason is simple, because they have very limited inner resources. They cannot handle too many feature requests, but it's so popular. So they open source it and uh, invite many engineers to contribute their code. Inner source got you uh, after one year, it attracted more than 200 engineers to join this project. They will, oh, they working on the tests, they work on the patches. And uh, more than 100 patches got committed into the project and make it uh, more widely used inside the company. Then we move to the first department, INF. The whole, the whole department. Inf, inf department is responsible for Baidu's infrastructure services, including distributed storage and distributed computing. It has more than 200 engineers. This journey got supported from its director, managers, developer needs. Reason is very sim is simple. The are also too limited for engineering resources because they have many services. They cannot handle too many feature requests from all over the company. And they also want to build stronger connections with the inside customers because they think if the internal customer began to uh, cooperate to, with them, and uh, contribute code to their products. They will not build their own services. 
they will stick to Infos services, and it works really. Then we move to company wide. Our COO Lu Qi promoted inner source several times to break down silos. And our CTO requests that all platforms that serve for the company wide should be inner sourced. And our OSPO, the open source program office, requests that all projects need to be inner sourced first before open source to external community. This is the journey of Baidu inner source. Uh, here is the DD story. DD is China's Uber. It began to adopt inner source from 2019 to improve collaboration and code use use inside the company. It is top down and uh, they have put strong operations. The atmosphere inside are good, the leaders, the companies are happy. Now they need one, they need a brand new project to approve that their, the inner source value is good. Then I'll talk about OS China. OS China is the biggest open source community in China. You can think it is Chinese Uber, Chinese GitHub. They set up special pages for inner source to help their sales because uh, their main product is just like GitHub Enterprise. They want to sell their tools together with inner source mindset. Here's the pages. You can see that it uses the logo for inner source commerce and uh, they translate many documents about inner source. For example, what is inner source and the best practice of inner source and why inner source and how to and how to uh, release the power of inner source and the future of inner source. The set up this, this web page to help more developers inside China to understand what is inner source and uh, what's the benefit. But it is still in the innovator stage, it's still here. Com compared with open source, it's not popular. There's still a few companies adopt inner source. We need many works to promote it, to let more people, to let more companies to know its benefit and to know how to promote inner source in their companies. That's, the, that's why we have this summit in China. Thank you.